messing with these ALH engines for quite a while now and just kind of wanted to go over all the different serpentine belt options I've found and to start with now that I've found this one I really think everyone that still has your factory tensioner at least some of the swaps don't I know but if you do this simple belt here to run just the alternator is your best backup you could really have throw it behind the seat or whatever if you lose your your power steering your AC even this idler here you can still get home with your alternator running and the the part number on that is that 5060295 and yeah I just I really think just about everybody should have one if you've got these ALH engines you just never know, especially when they're getting up here in miles, what you're going to end up blowing a line out or just losing that AC compressor. The clutch and the that stuff just goes out on a lot of them. So that's the first one. And especially if you're swapping and you don't need AC or power steering, it's a pretty sweet option there. Um, and then on my, my TJ here, I've actually been running it for quite a while it's that AC delete pulley um, I don't have I had a spare one here I could show you but anyway it just bolts in place of the AC compressor but I haven't had much luck with getting them straight except for this one in the Jeep I've had it in there for quite a while now and it's I think it's going on five years and never given me an issue so I can't really complain about it too much, but at the same time, it's not the best option. So I took an um, Austin with his um, red or maroon Toyota. He had come up with this setup, and I just wanted to go over it with you guys as well. So this basically keeps your power steering but deletes the AC. You do have to make this bracket here. Now, he, Austin, had made the whole bracket slide up and down. I actually, I'll pull it apart here in a second, and I designed it to slide just the, um, the pulley, or the idler, and this is the idler that was right down here, so that you're just reusing parts, basically. There's two bolts to buy, and a piece of metal, and then I'll show you the whole setup here once I pull it apart. All right, so you can kind of see back here. Obviously, you can get a nice spacer here. I just have an oversized nut on there, but there's, um, get it to focus there. There's three washers behind this bolt here for the, the alternator, just to space it out so you don't have to notch around here quite so much. But yeah, and then I just got this cut two grooves in here so it can slide up and down. I got a pretty thick piece of metal here, so you might want to actually make one just a little wider if you want more material here, but I'm not worried about this one. So anyway, yeah, then your, your idler slides on and nut and washer it on and you're pretty much good to go. The um, It's kind of a pain to tighten it once you get the the belt on here all right yeah once you have the belt on you can see here then it just slides down and tightens up and actually it works pretty well I can get a screwdriver right back in there on the back side of this bolt and just tap it down to tighten it and then once you then it's a little crooked and then once you tighten it up and suck it to where it pulls the the idler level then it tightens it up even more because you do need it pretty tight or this will be flopping on you so yeah it's really just key to have a screwdriver there but it's not a huge deal to tighten that up and that's a pretty sweet setup and here's the part number for this belt i think this is an off brand of the napa version i'll go ahead and link all these belts and that ac delete pulley for whatever you guys want to do but I would say this is definitely a better option than trying to use that delete pulley 
on the bottom. I would highly recommend this. It's it's not really much work at all to get that going. And then you've got a pretty sweet setup there. And this is exactly what we're going to need for the Chevy because that AC compressor, it's in the same location as the power steering on the BW, but it's so much longer and that is what's going to be in the way for the differential on the Chevy. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that AC compressor down there and we'll be good to go. It does eliminate your options for using this this um, power steering delete as well, but as long as you've got the idler, it's really not hard to bolt that idler back on if you ever did need to. It'll go right back on there. So anyway, yeah, those are kind of your options for for different belt configurations without needing to put too much money into accessory brackets. I know there's one overseas that um, has the AC deleted and it kind of reconfigures that stuff, but those are kind of pricey. So plus getting them over here and then taking all your accessories and everything off is not much fun. So anyway, yeah, hopefully that helps you guys out and check out the links in the description here. Thanks for watching.